An axe can be used to fell trees, to chop wood for both the building of shelter or burning for warmth. Knives can divide food into pieces small enough to fit into mouths or ropes into lengths needed. Hammers may be employed to drive nails, binding materials together or staking a tarpaulin to the ground. Bows and arrows, bolts flung may ensure feasts to those gathered. Hooks and barbs may fish wriggling mouths from waterways. Heavy plows dragged by yoked oxen can raise rows of harvest bountiful with glowing hearths birthing bread. Scratching flints spark tinder, lighting the way in the darkness encroached, frightening roving maws attached to empty stomachs from the camp's center. Levered tongs and sharpened scissors work the pieces until they cover and form. Mold and casts hold the liquid until it cools to the product. Glitters and sparkles catch the attention and guide it to the home of purpose, of family. When encountered, these items carried raise no alarm. They are tools, and having not the fangs and claws of feared beasts, we expect their ubiquity amongst us. No one has ever hunted game to feed themselves or their family with a sword. Those bearing swords are always the enemy, no matter which direction the tip points, up or down.